We have a woman at work that makes everybody a birthday treat, be it a cake or a dessert, and just does this out of the kindness of her own heart and her own pocketbook. So today we want to celebrate her birthday, so I'm making a special dessert. It is a berry trifle. It's a great summer, fresh tasting dessert, and I want to show you how it's made. Come along with me. For this recipe, you're going to need three-fourths of a cup seedless raspberry jam, one quart of strawberries, and we're going to haul them and slice them. And really, that's the hardest part of this recipe. One pint raspberries, one pint blueberries, 16 ounces cream cheese, and you want to keep it at room temperature, one and three-fourths cup confectioner sugar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, which I don't have out here, and one and one-half cups heavy whipping cream. That's not out here either because it's in the refrigerator along with the metal bowl keeping cold because that is a hint for getting good, quick whipped cream. And then we need one seven ounce package of ladyfingers. Let's get started. Three fourths a cup seedless raspberry jam. We just want to warm that up. Just kind of liquefying it here. And that's fine. We turn it off. But now we're going to add our fruit, the raspberries. And notice they've all been sliced up. I said raspberry. <laughs> Those were strawberries that were sliced up. These are raspberries. I really do know my berries. Of course, here's our blueberries. Now we just want to mix this in a little. Let's coat the fruit. It's starting to get a little glisten a little bit with the jam. And now we're just going to let this sit here while we prepare the rest. Now we have the one and one half cups cream. Now we're going to whip it. And I'm not going to make you watch this whole thing. We'll be back when it's done. Continue mixing until the whipping cream forms stiff peaks. Then you're ready for the next step. Now it's time to put both of your 8 ounce packages of cream cheese in another bowl and beat this softened cream cheese with your powdered sugar. You want it nice and smooth and creamy. We have it nice and creamy, and we've added a teaspoon of vanilla. Unfortunately, it's a little cramped here, but we're going to be adding a third bout of the whipped cream. Just a little more. I'm going to whip that in there. Okay, I'm now removing it from the KitchenAid. And I'm just going to fold in the remaining whipped cream with my spatula. Don't over mix it. Okay, now we're lining this as best as we can with lady fingers. And you can use whatever dish you want. This is not a truffle dish. It's more of a salad dish. But it's easier for me to bring to work. So use whatever you have. But a truffle dish, you know, the one with the glass dish with the stand, does make a pretty picture. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, huh? Maybe we can just put another one here, squeeze them in, put another one here. There, that's good. I'm going to put a third of the berry mixture on top of your lady fingers here. Get some of the juices too. Just a little bit more. Okay. Now you want a third of your whipped cream and cream cheese mixture.
Yeah. And now you're just going to repeat this. Now we're going to place these here again. A little different format here. can be fun for your kids to make too. Really is quite easy. And it makes a nice presentation. Uh -huh. And can we put one in the middle there? There we go. Now it's time for some more berries. Blueberry has a stem on it. We don't want that. There we go. Now more of our cream cheese and whipped cream. And of course, if you get a little on your spoon, you can easily lick it off when you're done because it tastes really good. Now another layer. I kind of like it when we put it around the edge like this, so let's do that again. And if you notice, we're separating them. Otherwise, they won't go far enough. And we might have a problem. Maybe I'm packing them in too well because I'm going to run out of lady fingers. Oh no. So we'll just put them on like this, like that, and then like that. And now berries. Hmm. Scrape out and get all the juices there and that jam. Now we want to smoosh it around a bit. Now we're putting the remaining. really comes together quick and it really is a nice fresh summer dessert you know I'd love to say it's low calorie but once you put in whipping cream and uh, confectioner sugar and Philadelphia cream cheese it's not okay smoosh it Kind of cover up the berries. It's okay if they peek through. Because part of it's going to be how big a dish you have. If this was a traditional truffle dish, it wouldn't be as wide and it would be taller. So there we have it. Now in the morning, we're going to garnish it. Right now we want to put it in the refrigerator. You want it in your refrigerator for at least eight hours. Okay, it's now in the refrigerator. I'm going to leave it there overnight and in the morning I'll garnish it and I'll show it then. So quick before I take it into work, I just want to give it a little garnish just to give it a little pizzazz and then it'll be ready. Let's put one here. These are just half the strawberries. Smaller one here. And then just the top of a sprig of mint that I picked fresh this morning. 
Okay, see the various layers? Being in the refrigerator all night, the juices and everything have soaked into the lady fingers. And this is going to be a delectable dessert. So one of the reasons I made it in this type of dish instead of a trifle dish is I have a carry and it's really easy to take to work. So I just put on this Pyrex top here. This in here. And I'll just zip it up. And it keeps it nice and cool for my travel to work until I can get it back in the refrigerator. And it also makes sure I don't have any spilling accidents while I'm driving in the car. It's really easy and delicious to make. I hope you try it. This is Prepper Potpourri saying please subscribe, share the knowledge. Thank you.